Okay, so I'll get the public IP. What's happening? Let me check what's there. Okay, my okay, there is some problem with the security groups. I have not chosen the right one. Okay, there's a problem. It's coming, there's some problem. I have to choose uh, 80. SSH and I'll also choose one five two one. Okay. I'll go to the root. Okay, step one. I'm reading my Linux server. First I'll add the group add DBA though it is not needed that much. But if you want to separate this uh, um, groups for uh, software and the data you can do that I'm adding a user and um, I'll be creating a swap I'm not creating additional digs for swap what is the space I am having and I'm just pre pre putting a swap maybe going down the swap space okay Give permission to my swap, make swap, and swap on. I'll now make an entry to the etc fs step and make an entry for the swap. My swap is root swap file swap defaults zero zero. I'll check okay looks good now uh, before going to the next steps just um, I'll be doing something I'll be creating another one window I'll, I'll tell you why the purpose is that you know I just want to copy my Oracle software it will take some time so just reduce the time I'm going to do that let me create a folder here here This is my Oracle database 19C software RPM. So I am going to transfer it. So this will take some time. This is something 2.5 gigs. Depends upon the what are the upload speed I'll get. Transfer speed. I'll send it not upload. Transfer speed I'll get. Okay. So let it be continued and let it perform my tasks. The next previ previous window okay so i'll install the this is a prefix uh, pre-installed rpm so i can uh, for red hat 8 or centos 8 i can directly uh, install using the dnf command from the oracle uh, repository next steps i'll be setting this changing the set linux so i have to change these parameters but i am just commenting out well um please note down this is a automatic things you know i don't need any automatic kind of uh, installations uh, here i don't need any um, specific memory requirement because this is just for the training for actual things uh, um, you can set many parameters whatever you want uh, maybe you can use it all this uh, also the installations will be doing this rpm installations uh, this will be having this um, default memory structures so definitely it's not going to work for actual installations okay for changing these things i have to uh, either reboot the server or run the command okay 
and uh, I'll be going to install the two more parameters one is perl lib www perl this is required for xterm uh, this is for setting this uh, get command and uh, thereafter also I'm going to install the xterm because for my x window yum install xterm okay now let me decide reset my oracle password put a new password okay then i sue oracle and then uh, i'll be creating this authorized key for oracle so that you know i can directly log in through the oracle if needed So I'll be taking this metadata, open SSH key and then putting it the authorized key so that I can directly connect. Okay. And uh, thereafter uh, I can directly uh, SSH to the Oracle. Uh, my copy is now finished. So I'll complete this uh, installation steps. Okay, I'll go to the files. And now I unzip. So it's unzipped now I'm going to install it. So as I said before this is auto install this is uh, good for the testing purposes because all the memories and all this thing is set and all this semaphore and um, you know shared memories are auto sets so this is not good for actual productions uh, or actual usage. So you should uh, choose for the manual kind of a setup if you are uh, choosing for your actual workload okay. Okay, it has to be done through the root. This will take a uh, few minutes, I believe. So you can see that uh, my RPM is already installed, and now it is showing that you know if you want to configure a sample database, you can execute the following configuration script as a root. I'm not going to do that uh, due to some purposes because uh, this will be a sample database, and there are very few things you can change. I have uh, find out a document and it says that what are the things you can change like the Oracle home, a PDB, Oracle home, uh, the Oracle database name, some of the other steps. But I didn't find any uh, uh, way to disable the PDB because I don't require a pluggable database for my purposes. So I just show you the doc uh, document what this document says you can go through the document. This is the document I received I got it in uh, uh, Google. It says about this there is a configuration file this is the configuration file in the sales etc sysconfig and where the, uh, this is the things uh, you can change but there are other things you can also change like you can change the oracle home uh, versions oracle seed character sets pdb name listener name number of pdbs okay um i don't know whether this uh, um, number of PDBs is zero till work or not I uh, probably will probably not but I'll, I'll check it somewhere else and um, uh, but this time I'll be doing some kind of some uh, manual approach but uh, if you want a very simple database similar you know sample database kind of things so this command will absolutely fine you don't need anything it is very you know easy to run as a root but I am not going to do that. I will be instead I will be running DBCA. Okay. So what I will do that I will first open my Xquartz because it will be a front end. Then I will connect to this uh, to as a SSHY, SSHY to get this you know X forwarding features and uh, I'll go to this OPT Oracle this is my Oracle home default product 19C 19C and then DB home so I'll export as a Oracle home 
okay and then I'll go to the bin what I have seen before uh, due to some reasons uh, the front end is not coming very good for me at, at at least for the video recording so if you're getting a blurred kind of things I'll try to explain it so I'll go for the DBCA yeah it's coming Okay, looks like it's better I'll create a database so it's already chosen uh, I want to change my global database name so I'll put it as a source and I don't want a pluggable database put the password I'm absolutely fine with that so what I have changed, I have changed the database names, I have not changed any data file locations, uh, fast recovery areas, character sets, anything. Um, and I have uh, disabled this uh, pluggable because I don't need a pluggable. You can see this is a, a kind of a automatic setting. So if you want something else, you can do it yourself. But you know, I am good with the, whatever the auto settings come. So I'll finish. So this is going to take some time, uh, maybe a few minutes. So I'll come back once it's done. Uh, I'm back. It took a while to DBC to complete. It's, you can see now it's now completed. Um, so I'll close the session. This was things when I ran my DBC. Now the next steps. What I'm gonna do? Um, I will uh, set Oracle seed as a source. And uh, sorry. I'll try to log in. Okay. Yeah, I'll set now the next steps. I'll set the listeners and TNS. First, create the touch. Okay, maybe I'll create the listener first okay for creating the listeners what I need to know I need to know the host name first okay, I'll change the here say as a target source the rest of the things looks good so this will be the my listener similarly I'll for TNS I'll choose the service name and the instance name both are same okay bin ls nrctl start source address of the listener is not correct some changes in the listeners one minute hold on I did some changes in the listeners and hopefully it will work now okay yeah it's working so so the initial installations of the oracle 19c is done 